Hello everybody. Well, uh, we have another lesson on bar graphs and today we're looking at a slightly different kind of bar graph. Uh, something called a stacked bar graph. A stacked bar graph. Well, have a look at the example of a stacked bar graph I've given. See if you can work out what a stacked bar graph might mean. Pause the video, have a little think. Well, I hope you did have a think. I don't know if you've noticed. This bar chart, stacked bar graph, is about books read in January. And when we look at each bar, this is for a girl called Amelie. How many did Amelie read? Well, you can see that her bar is made up actually of two parts. And in a stacked bar graph, each bar will be made up of two, or sometimes more, than two parts. So before we have a go at solving that kind of problem, let's remind ourselves a little bit about um, working with holes and parts. So, here's a question. It says, 49 children said maths was their favourite. 49 children. 32 of them were girls, and the others were boys. So... I've drawn a whole yellow bar, a whole yellow rectangle, we call a bar, and it shows all of the children, it represents all of the children. It's split into two parts. Can you see? One part is for how many boys, and one part for how many girls, because the whole group of children is 49, some are girls, some are boys, and I've written 32. What was 32? 32 of them were girls. Well, I'm even going to write that in. I'm going to write 32 girls. And what must this bit be over here? Well, it's the number of boys. We don't know how many boys, do we? Do we know how many children there are altogether? We do. The whole is 49 here, isn't it? The whole means all of the children, the whole group of children. All of them. That's 49, because there are 49 children. So, it's in two parts. Part of the group is girls, the other part is boys. And do you remember... With the whole and the part, the whole is 49. If we were just to have the whole 49, if we asked the 32 girls to go out, if they went out, if we took the 32 girls away, can you see? We've got the whole group of children. We take the 32 girls away. What are we left with? Well, we're left with the number of boys. So, I'll put the number of girls back in. And this is what we mean when we talk about part and whole. So, what's the whole number? Well, the whole number is 49 children. And the whole, when we take away one part, here we take away the number of girls, 49 children, take away the 32 girls will tell us how many boys. Well, 49 take away 32 is 17. So it means 17 boys. And we can always check it by adding them together. 32 girls add 17 boys. Check it, add them together. 49 children all together. So we're going to do one more like that and then we're going to go back to our stacked bar graphs. So imagine another problem. There is a pile of 179 books. 52 of them are fiction books and the others are non-fiction. Well, I've drawn my whole 
bar here and I'm just going to draw that arrow across the top and this is, that represents all of the books. It represents the whole number of books. The whole number is 100, the whole 179 books, all of them. And that 179 is split into two parts, isn't it? Well, because the question tells us some are fiction books and the others are non-fiction. So 52 are fiction books. So I'm going to split my whole into two parts. Fiction books, story books, and non-fiction. Okay. What number shall I put in the fiction part? Oh, it's 52. What about the non-fiction? Well, I don't know, because that's the question. And I remember that if I were now to just take away, imagine crossing out this 52. Imagine I had the whole pile of books and I just took away the 52 books, which are fiction books. Well, I would be left with the non-fiction ones. So my whole here is 179 books. The whole, take away the part that we know. We know the part that is 52 fiction books. 179, take away 52. Oh, we can use our column method. Carefully line it up. Start with the ones. 9, take away 2. 7, 7 tens, take away 5 tens is 2 tens. 100, take away none. Nothing is 1. So how many non-fiction books are there? 127. We can check that by adding the two parts together. OK, now let's get back to our stacked bar graphs and we'll see that this should really help us. So let's look again. Do you remember this stacked bar graph is books read in January? So I'm looking now and, oh, before I start looking, I've got to understand, well, what does this blue bit mean? And what does this red bit mean? Well, the legend, or the key, will, which is almost always by the side, or sometimes underneath, will tell you what the two parts mean. So look, the red part of the bar is the fiction, and the blue part of the bar is the non-fiction books. So we always must look at the legend, or the key, to understand what each colour in the stacked bar graph is representing. So, first of all, let's just pause the video and have a go at these three questions. Who read most books? Who read most non-fiction books? And who read most fiction books? Pause the video. Have a go. I hope you did have a go. It's much better if you do have a go when it's time to pause the video. Who read most books? Well, most books, that's just the highest bar. So we can see who read most books. Emily read most books. Who read most non-fiction books? Well, which bit of the bar is non-fiction? Oh, the blue. So now I've got to just look. Okay, I can see Amelie. Well, this is how many non-fiction Amelie read. This is how many Javier read. This is how many Naila read. This is how many Bill read. So who's got most non fiction books. Oh, it's Naila. So Naila has read most non-fiction. Who read most fiction books? Ooh, that's not quite so easy because now we've got to see who's got the most read. Who's got the most read? Well, actually, I can see that Amelie's got the biggest red bar. So who read the most fiction books? Amelie, and you can see she loves reading fiction books. 
Well done, Amelie. Let's have a look now. And here's a quick question. Now we're asking the kind of question where we need a number answer. So our question is, how many fiction books, how many fiction books did Javier read? So we need to look and find Javier. Here's Javier. Are we asking how many all together he read? No. Just how many fiction books? So the fiction books is the red bit. So what we can do is we can do it two ways. The first way is we could just see all together how many books did Javier read. Well, the whole bar for Javier is ten books. That's the whole of Javier's bar. So his whole number is ten books. And how many fiction books did Javier read? We're not allowed to count the non-fiction books. So we've got to split his whole ten into two parts. We know the blue part is two because we'll read across. Can you see? If we read across there on the scale, two non-fiction. So how many altogether? Well, now we've got to remember the whole amount is 10. His amount is 10 altogether. So the whole is 10. We take away the part that we know is 2. And 8 is the part we don't know. So Javier read 8 fiction books. Can you see? That's one way of doing it. Another way we could do it is we could just read here. Well, you got to two. And then how many is it? Two. Yeah. To ten. We could do two. Well, it's going to be ten. Take away two. So I would recommend a whole. Take away the part that we know. And that will be a good way of doing it. How many non-fiction books did Amelie read? So remember, we want to know all together how many books, the whole amount for Amelie. Well, I'm going to look at Amelie here. Here's Amelie. All together, Amelie read... Right, so Amelie, 17 books is the whole number of books she read. And it's in two parts, isn't it? I've got to split her amount into two parts. The whole 17. Well, the part that we don't want, with the non-fiction, is five. Ah! We could have just read that one, actually. Amelie, we could just read... How many non-fiction books did Amelie read? Five. How many... Fiction books did Emily read? Must be 12. 17. Take away 5 equals 12. So 12 fiction books and 5 non fiction. So when we're reading the bottom part of the stacking, the first part, we can just read up the scale. Oh, okay. How many fiction books did Nayla read? Hmm, well, we've got to be thinking. All together, how many did Nayla read? Well, I can read across. All together, this is the top of Nayla's amount. If I read across, okay. So, Nayla read 11 books altogether. That's her whole amount of books all the books she read, and we split it into two parts. Can you see? The bar is split into two parts. We can read the bottom part. Okay, that's nine. If we read across between eight and ten is nine. So all of the books she read, take away the whole Take away the part that we know, which is 9. 
and we get 11 take away 9 is 10. So, Naylor read to Fiction Box the whole amount take away the ones that we know will tell us how many we don't know. Ooh, now we've got bigger numbers. A little bit bigger. Children were asked who their favourite authors were. How many boys said Roald Dahl? Well, let's look. Each bar is in two parts because it's a stacked bar graph. Green is the boys, yellow is the girls. How many boys said Roald Dahl? Oh, we can just read that because it's at the bottom. So... We can just read up. We don't want to read all the way up to the top. Just the green part. How many boys said Roald Dahl? 60 boys. How many more boys than girls said Roald Dahl? Ooh, we're still thinking Roald Dahl. So now we've got to say 60 boys. How many children all together in the Roald Dahl bar? Well, that is halfway between 80 and 90. So all together, 85 children. This is an interesting question. We've got to work out how many girls there are. So we've got to do a few steps here. 85 children... Take away the 60 boys equals 25 girls. But we're still not quite there. Because the question is, how many more boys than girls said Roald Dahl? So now I've got to compare 60 boys and 25 girls and when we comparing two numbers I remember our comparing lesson 60 boys the difference between 25 girls ah okay 35 how many more boys than girls said Roald Dahl 35 more boys so can you see that's a little bit of a harder question more thinking Got to read that question carefully. Now, we can sometimes have a stacked bar graph with more than two parts. So, children from preschool, primary school and secondary school were asked their favourite colours. And 150 children from each school were asked. This bar chart shows their answers. So let's just take a moment to look at it. This is the... For the preschool children, the nursery children, this is the primary children, this is the secondary children. Each time you can see that, that altogether it's 150 children were asked. How many preschool children said yellow was their favourite colour? Well, we're talking preschool children, so we're looking in the preschool bar and we only want to know how many said yellow well I've got to read across here I can see my I can see my yellow bit so I'm going to do this yellow bit that we want to know about we only want to know how many children are in this part of the bar. Well, we can see that the yellow bar starts here. Well, 50, between 50 and 100 is 50, so we're counting in 10. So that here is 60, isn't it? 60 goes up to... Ooh, we're counting in tens, so 110. So 60 
from 60 to 110, we could do that two ways. We could say 60 add how many makes 110? Well, let's turn that round and say 110 take away 60 using our inverse operations. Okay. Must be 50 preschool children. So 50 preschool children. 50 preschool children said yellow. Okay, so you can see sometimes these stacked bar graphs a little bit. Well, they take me a little bit of thinking and looking, but I know you can do it if you give it your best shot. Okay, right, looking forward to seeing all of your work. This is what you're going to be doing. We've got two levels of work. This is a boys and girls, each part of the bar. The yellow part is the boys, the green part is the girls, and it's about the favourite sports in Year 8 PE. These questions are a little bit harder because the bar is in four parts, but you might find that if you read the questions carefully and spend a bit of time puzzling out, you've got it. Okay, right, give it your best shot everyone, and don't forget to ask a question in Google Classroom if you're not sure. Bye!